Hey guys, this is Andy Chatfield from PTC Optics. I'm here today to show you how to upgrade the firmware of your 12X USB Generation 2 camera. The first thing we're going to do is open up the appropriate folder, 12X USB G2. And there's three different ways we're going to upgrade the firmware for the camera. There's the USB, the FPGA, and then the SOC, which is basically the IP. So to, to get started, you're going to have to have your camera powered on, hooked up to the network, and hooked up to the computer that you're running this firmware upgrade on via USB. So, and I do want to mention the process, if it gets interrupted in any way, shape, or form while you're trying to do any of these firmware upgrades, it can cause the camera to not work correctly. So make sure that your, your computer is not going to be doing updates, no one's going to be working on power in the building, anything like that. Make sure that you've got a good solid 10 minutes where you can just complete this firmware process without it being interrupted. First thing I'm going to do is the USB connection. I'm going to run this program. It's in the folder. So um, the first thing I'm going to do is query version to make sure I have a connectual a successful connection and then I'm going to do type USB and I'm going to add a file. This is the 12x USB firmware G2. I'm going to go to the USB and I want this disk image file. I am going to hit upgrade and this should take about a minute to finish. So the USB firmware upgrade is complete. We are next step is we're going to use the same program to upgrade the FPGA. So here I'm going to add a file, go back to the FPGA folder, and grab this .bin file. Just like that, and upgrade. Again, it should take about a minute. And our FPGA firmware upgrade is complete. So now we've done both of the USB connections. We can exit out of this program. And the next step we're going to do is go into the SOC folder and start up this upgrade program. You should be familiar with this program if you've ever set the IP address of your camera. So the IP address of my camera is still default, 192.168.100.88. I have to set it to be within my range to start the firmware upgrade. I'm going to make this 187. It will reboot. You will be upgrading the MTD, will be the type of the, of the file you're going to be doing. We're going to wait until we see this camera again. It should be 111.87. And there it is. So now the first thing we're going to do is go to backup and back up this camera. The backup doesn't actually apply to anything other than a specific chip inside the camera. And the backup stores the information of that chip. And then once we do the firmware upgrade, we can apply that information back to the camera. It doesn't actually save any settings for the camera. If When you apply this IP firmware update, it's going to reset the entire IP section of the camera back to factory defaults. So new, it'll be the factory default IP address, everything. All the menu options will be reset, everything. So I've backed up. I have my camera. I am now going to go to upgrade. 
We want the type to be MTD. I'm going to query to make sure I have a connection. And now I'm going to open this up. I am in 12x USB G2. This is the disk image file I want. At this point, I'm going to hit open. I'm going to hit upgrade. This should shoot up to 47 and then 85% very quickly. And then um, it'll take about another four or five minutes to complete the, the last bit. The camera is going to reboot once, then go to 98%, then reboot again, and then finally finish. Um, and I will see you then because it should be a few minutes here. So. My camera is just rebooting for the first time. I will wait for the second time. My camera is just rebooting for the second time, so the firmware upgrade should be almost complete. All right, so my upgrade is complete. I'm going to search for my camera again. It should be defaulted back to 100.88. I'm going to take it back to the IP address it once had. 111.87. It's going to reboot. That's scarier. But that, I mean, that's what they said it was. It was such a great story. Yeah. There it is. So I am going to restore the backup and again during this process it will reboot
backup succeeded. So everything should be good to go with my camera now. Um, one thing I do want to mention is uh, the the firmware upgrade will reset your camera back to factory defaults, which means the on-screen display menu will be in Chinese. Um, to revert it back to English, press star pound one on the remote control, and that should make your on-screen display English again. Other than that, uh, we should be good to go. I'm just going to test my camera feed in VLC and make sure that I am getting... Well, we will see. There it is. That is my camera feed. Uh, hopefully the firmware process was nice and easy for you guys. If you have any questions or you had any issues, feel free to reach out to us at ptzoptics.com, and I will see you guys next time. Have a good day.